Greetings guys of Zyanjo, today I'm here to play Doki Doki Literature Club. If you are easily disturbed or horrified or are prone to night terrors or nightmares, please do not watch. Thank you. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a positive experience playing this game. Or watching it. Uh, would you like to review detailed content warnings which contain spoilers? No. For the sake of the let's play, no, but because I don't suffer from any kind of emotional issues right now, but if you do, if you suffer from any kind of emotional issues, do not watch this video. Also, this game will be from henceforth replacing Alien Isolation on my channel. Alien Isolation is just not doing well, so I'm going to put Alien Isolation on the back burner, and we are now going to switch to Doki Doki Literature Club. Please enjoy my content. But playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you have not noted the game's age rating in your region and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. I agree. I will say that I have never seen... Obviously, I've been spoiled. Everybody, Nobody's been able to avoid all of the Doki Doki spoilers, but I have never seen... I am experiencing this game for myself. I don't know how any of what happens happens. I only know one major spoiler, that's all I know. So, greetings guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm Cyangel, and we're gonna be playing Doki Doki Literature Club. This is the PS5 upgraded version with extra D DLC. So, uh, like I said, this game will be replacing Alien Isolation, and I'm excited because this was a big game that came out. So yeah, we're just gonna, gonna experience it. Uh, my name. I, my name is, I'm Sai. But I'm just gonna, I mean, we'll just go with Sai. Just go with Sai. I'm also a little sick, so I'll try not to sound gross. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more fre frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if, she, if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Run. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the class, the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Man, I don't... <laughs> Why am I embarrassed about voice acting, bro? I did it for a death mark. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught y you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean. Well, tough. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets became increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Sai, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you wanted to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me and I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. No one heard that voice crack, you didn't hear it. Nobody heard it. Take the shot, take the shot on anybody who heard it. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Well, sh <laughs> we we Your happiness is only important to me, you know. Oh, it's really. <clears throat> I can read. And 
And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you be becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright, Jesus. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to e ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sawyer wants me to j check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into class while I was uh, spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming up out of the classroom, but I saw, saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Alright, listen. You don't need to wait for, up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? <laughs> well, that you could come check out my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going into your club. Eh? Me. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in the literature. In fact, I'm 99% she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed to the proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Haha, <laughs> I would. No, literature is not that bad, come on. Like, writing stuff? Bro, you catch me on Wattpad. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. That is... <laughs> that is... <laughs> that's your fault? And Nanatsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! Exactly. Honestly... Where's the Yu-Gi-Oh club at, bro? Ah, ah! We gonna slay that club. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's just cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! And thus, today makes the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I would sell my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I did not say I would join. Why are you why are you doing this? I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? Oh, why am I reading it here? Eh, I glossed around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sorry always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Sai, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Um, mm. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of inherently cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to play, say something, say it. Uh, so sorry. I just don't talk to women, you see. Natsuki. <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't want recognize. I thought I was gonna say like. <laughs> her small figure makes her look like a first year student. Damn. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore Sayori when she gets moody. Sayori so says that quite quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say it things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. 
And it sounds like you've already met no Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Sai. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, and athletic. Hold on. Can I... Can I... The music still sounds a little bit loud. Yeah. Alright. The music just sounds a little bit loud still. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come, sit down, Sai. We made a room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me uh, or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. I thought that's a Dexent for a second. I was like, we gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh! Who's going to the Shadow Realm, my boy? All right. So you mentioned it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk, oh, walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. I didn't even get a choice. I was gonna choose Sayori, but like... Alright, whatever. Natsuki probably marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. That's cute. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry and take one. So he grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Suri walks with, with her, talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, yeah, I thought technically you did. Sayori said, Well, maybe, but not for you, you dummy. Alright, alright, damn. Give me the business. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep, a, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. I don't, re I don't know how to read. They don't know that. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not true. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. I can't read. If you didn't know, I'm a, I'm a blue eyes white dragon player. I play blue eyes. We don't read. If if you didn't know that, you know it's fine. Newbies to Yu-Gi-Oh usually don't, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad that you can't read, you dumb. Anyways, <laughs> Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what? Made you consider the literature club? Uh, mm, 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 mm. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori against my own will by the hair. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so. That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? 
You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and take something and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get in the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow at the literature club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to- Gotta be fucking kidding. Third time's the charm. Monica must have really worked hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they are, were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. 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 So Sai, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, manga, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, picture books, uh, um, if you can't see it, I'm dabbing a towelette on my head. Considering how little I've read these past few years, uh, blue eyes players, am I right? I don't really have a good idea, a good way of answering that. Manga. I met her quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say it's something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. You know, I don't know what I'm saying either. We're a blue eyes player, bro. Come on. Get your head in the game. We don't read. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling you a good story is in foreign... Blah. Tell, and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on and clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up when she finds her comfort in the world of books. Oh. Uh. She finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. It was one of the Goosebump series. They're, they're good. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Ayo, though, I fucking feel that. Bro, it is so hard to have, like, conversations with people. Am I a neat? <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh? What's that? Well, I just... Not like his eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything a everything you use, you is Yo, I, I made a horrible mistake playing a literature game. I can't fucking read. 
Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Suri so slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Eh, well, sometimes. Why do you, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you ha do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can he you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I had to go my own voice because I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit there for in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us a little more comf get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the literature club. Isn't that right, Sai? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, you see, I can't read. Blue Eyes Player, I've said this multiple times. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on there, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind for the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sorry you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I can't read. I still have other clubs to look at, and, uh, well, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Sigh. You all... Uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision with when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls, alright, we ain't gonna circle around the simping, are we? Yeah, we, we, we are. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club, but I can't read, so, um, one by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sorry you wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey... You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came by for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Oh. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh-huh. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember the, tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring up to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sai, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Alright, well, in addition to not being able to read, I told you I'm a blue eyes player. I can't write, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Sai, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk, ho never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. 
in the next episode because it's time to write a poem. What will my poem be in the next episode? Who knows? Well, Angel signing out. <laughs>